I'm a Londoner and I'm an African. This is where I really feel at home. And I'm constantly amazed that we think we know nothing of the sounds that come from here. It's the wellspring of the blues, of jazz, of rock and roll. They don't call Africa the motherland for nothing. Africa, a journey into music, continues tonight at 10 on BBC4. Donald Trump catches leaders at the G7 summit by surprise by suggesting Russia be allowed to rejoin it. The other leaders rebuff that idea, but Mr. Trump also goes on the offensive about the trade war. They're trying to act like, well, we fought with you in the war. They don't mention the fact that they have trade barriers against our farmers. They don't mention the fact that they're charging almost 300% tariffs. Meanwhile, Theresa May wants to talk trade, but is dogged by the continuing row in Cabinet over her Brexit strategy. With this summit shaping up to be a rather tense affair, we'll be looking at what might be achieved. Also tonight, the 90-year-old woman now seriously ill in hospital after being viciously attacked while lying in bed in her own home. Hell hath no fury. Tyson determined to make a comeback in the ring after two and a half years in the wilderness. <laughs> And laughing all the way to the Football World Cup, why Russians are being taught to smile. And coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, can he make it 11 out of 11? The king of clay, Rafa Nadal, is through to yet another Rafa French Open Paris. final. Good evening. President Trump has lobbed the diplomatic equivalent of a hand grenade into the G7 summit in Canada by suggesting that Russia should be allowed to rejoin. Russia was. That's it from us now, BBC One. It's time for the news where you are. Bye bye.